when I was eight years old, I had just seen the movie Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, um, with, with Macaulay Culkin. And Donald Trump, the only reason I would know who he was at the time, I was eight, the only reason I knew who he was because he had a cameo in the film. And he owns the Plaza Hotel, he did at the time. And Macaulay Culkin was staying there. And um, it was really funny because I had seen this movie and I begged my parents to take me to New York City. I wanted to be just like Macaulay Culkin. And finally, my dad agreed. He was probably sick of me begging. And he said, I'll make a deal with you. If you get straight A's for the entire year, it was the fourth grade, so I was able to do it. If you get straight A's for the entire year, we'll take it to New York City next summer. So that was my only goal. I got straight A's. When I found out we were going to be staying at the plaza where Macaulay Culkin stayed, I wrote a letter to Donald Trump. Now, I didn't have his address. I didn't have a computer at this time. I didn't have any way of getting his address. And the other important thing was I didn't want to ask my parents for help. Along the way, I've always tried to teach myself everything I can and to try and uh, absorb all the knowledge I can through reading books and, uh, and attending events like this. Um, but when I sat down to write that letter, because I didn't have his address, I simply addressed it to say Donald Trump, the plaza, New York City. I didn't even put comma, NY, or zip code. It was like writing to Santa Claus, but this time it actually got to him. And I never knew that Donald Trump received my letter because he didn't write back. And now, as an eight-year-old kid, I was maybe a little upset, but I also realized, you know, he's a very busy man. And I hadn't told my parents, so I didn't have to worry about the embarrassment of not receiving a response. But when we arrived at the hotel, the receptionist checked in my parents. She leaned over the counter, and she said, you must be Cameron. And I said, did Mr. Trump get my letter? And you got to understand the expression on my mom's face now, because she knows nothing about this letter. And here, the receptionist knows who her eight-year-old son is. And she said, yes, Mr. Trump did receive your letter. He's sorry he couldn't meet you personally. You know, my mom's head is now racing to say, what did he say to Mr. Trump? What is happening here? He's sorry he couldn't meet you personally, but he's arranged for you to stay in the suite where the movie was filmed. That was the only thing I asked for. I wanted to see the suite. I just wanted to walk in it and see the suite where Macaulay Culkin stayed. And Donald Trump responded in such a great way. And I actually brought some pictures um, here today. You need a clicker? Yes. I brought some pictures that I thought I would share from this story. And this is what I talk about the first chapter of my book. Which See, is that's called... why I'm up here, Cameron, to hand you clickers and stuff. <laughs> if you need some water or something, just <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I started as a one-kid operation. I was nine years old. I had $50, and I had access to a computer. And just like all the information, uh, the extremely valuable information Armin just shared, I can't imagine, Joe mentioned I made a million dollars before I was out of high school. I can't imagine what I would have done if I had access to all the tools and strategies that Armin has today. So that's a huge, uh, huge offer. There I am at the plaza, putting my hands on my face, if you can't see it, just like Macaulay Culkin did in the movie, in the suite, the exact same place Macaulay, Macaulay Culkin stayed. And the only reason this ever took place was because I simply put myself out there and wrote a letter to Donald Trump, and I encourage all of you to do the same. Whether it's write a letter to Donald Trump, I don't know if he wants to get a thousand letters, but... <laughs> he, one other thing he did for me was he set up a private tour of F.E.O. Schwartz, the huge three-story toy, toy, three -story toy store, the next day, and here I am outside F.E.O. Schwartz. And he also gave me a talk for every quarter that was used in the movie. So he gave me all these things, let us stay in the suite, called our room personally to make sure everything had been taken care of because he was out of town, simply because some eight-year-old kid wrote to him and asked for it. 